you know, the underdogs always win, you feel me? Hey, <laughs> I'm glad that they doubt me, I know that I'm chosen, I'm fucking them up, causing all the commotion. Rather get money, cause that's more important, got no time to kick it, I'm ballin' like Jordan, I'm glad that they doubted me. Hey, hey, I'm glad that they doubted me. Welcome back to another dope episode of On the Scene. And we were just jamming to another banger by Chanel Nicole called Cool. Hey, sis. Hey. Welcome <laughs> back. Hi. Thanks for having me. How are you? I am blessed. How are you? I'm good. I a little cold, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome back, sis. You have Thank been you. doing some amazing things. Thank you. You've been doing a lot? Yes, I'm tired. Okay. Look, I'm tired. <laughs> she's tired. <laughs> That's because she's always grinding, y'all. She... So what's been going on? Well, um, I just recently moved to the West Coast okay. um, for more opportunities. I just want to expand and optimize myself as, as much as possible. Um, but I'm here for the holidays for home. So, okay. you know, ain't nothing like home. That's right. Um, currently working on my um, second album, studio album at the moment. So okay. if you're looking Congrats. out for that. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's that's really what I've been working. Just taking in my new environment and mm -hmm. continuing to be creative in that environment. That's what I'm working on right now. Okay. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. My shout out to OG. Shout out to Auntie. Auntie. She she did what needed to be done. Okay. I'm everything still was recuperating. Everything was great. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So, how do you like the West Coast? Um, the vibes. The vibes are vibing. Um, <laughs> they vibing. I, I think I just like the palm trees and the heat. Honestly, like uh -huh. if we can just copy and paste that here, uh -huh. I think I would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Blizzard that we but got like, going on. Yeah, but like other than that, like um, yes, yeah, um, it's a little more slower than Chicago because we city people. We just mm -hmm. like, yeah, we but they're, they're like, <laughs> you know. So uh -huh. it's teaching me patience. It's teaching me a different thing. But overall, um, yeah, I, I got some learning out of it, so it's cool. Okay, you hitting any jackpots? No, I didn't. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? All my friends are like, oh, my God, you live in Vegas. You haven't went to the casino yet? I'm like, no, but I need to go. Okay. I think I need to go. And Have you're you? you're my third sign and third <laughs> time's a charm, I love so I'm going to go. Casinos, yes. I'm going to go. I'm the casinos go. and the shows, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Usher yet? No. I want to see Usher. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to Vegas to see an Usher show. I have not seen him, and, and uh, I think that um, it's really dope that he got a residency. Yes. Yeah, yeah you definitely got to go see him. Awesome, awesome. So tell me a little bit about Cool, the inspiration behind that banger. Um, so I'm gonna give you the truth. My producer, he moved to the West Coast in January. Okay. Um, last year. Mm -hmm. So this January will, well, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. this upcoming January will make will mark a year. Okay. Of him being in LA. So my mom was like, are you going to be sad that he's moving? I'm like, no, because I'm literally going with him. Literally, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this was our last studio session. Uh -huh. And um, he just played the beat and I just like did it. Okay. Like, and I was just like, okay, cool. I'm like, everything's cool. Like, I'm at a point in my life right now where literally everything is cool. Like, Good. I'm not stressing. I'm not. It's cool. Good. Cool. Good. I love it. It's Thank a nice you. thing. <laughs> Thank you. So, okay. yeah. So have you been performing a lot out in um, Vegas? I was just telling um C Snapper. C Snapper. <laughs> what was going on? Um uh -huh. shout out to her and shout out to my friend um Cakes Music. We went to um we bought a little boom box. Okay. And we went out to the strip. Oh. And we got like a little karaoke machine and we just went out and spit some bars and oh, there like, you go. Yeah, so like the police didn't stop us. We was good. Like, you know, we of course you gotta have a permit, but like uh -huh. it was like, forget that. <laughs> we just gonna do it. We got talent there. <laughs> they ain't gonna care about that. So um, that's the that's the closest I've been to performing out there. Mm -hmm. But like, um, I did have two shows that I opened up for DJ Quick okay. in um, Sacramento, okay, and um, Oakland. Okay, so the Oakland show was like completely um, unexpected, mm -hmm. but it came from the Sacramento show. Okay, so I opened up in Sacramento for DJ Quick. It was it was lit. It was dope. He enjoyed it, and he was just like, "Hey, let's go to Oakland tomorrow." And I'm like. Hey, why, why not? not? <laughs> so, um, 
But like performing in Vegas, that's the closest I've been. We we went on a strip, but okay. the West Coast in general, mm-hmm. Cali, yeah, Cali, okay. we, we had some, we had a time. So. Nice, nice. Okay, yeah. so give everybody a little background about you, where you grew up, how you got into music. I love this question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm currently 27 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been singing since I was four years old in the church. I know everybody like, everybody always in the church. I, <laughs> That's okay. I started in the church. Um, and then um, music has just always been like a passion of mine. Like, no matter what goes on in my life, I always like revert back to music. And it's just like, okay, like if nothing goes right in my life, I'm like, okay, I know mm-hmm. when I go in this room and I put this beat on, it's up. So like, and I go to the studio and it translates. Mm-hmm. So um, it's just been always a part of me. So I decided to take it seriously and go to um, SAE mm-hmm. in 2017. Cause I had moved back into my mama house mm-hmm. and my mama was like, well, if you're going to be here, you got to either go to work or go to school. And I'm like, I'll take the school for 500. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to school and I started school in the summer in uh-huh. May. So, okay. you know, I was bored. Mm-hmm. Who starts school in the middle of summer? Come on <laughs> <Right>. now. <laughs> Like, so, um, and I just decided to take it more serious. And then I got my degree. I graduated valedictorian. Nice. Top of my class. I gave it all, my all. Congrats. And um, thank you. And, like, the fact that, like, I well, I already had a passion for music. Uh-huh. But, like, just going to school, it just kind of, like, elevated a little bit more. Right. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into that. And I just, I just been taking it all the way ever since. Um my mom has seven kids. I'm a. Mm-hmm. I'm the fourth. I'm the middle child. So I okay. got middle child syndrome. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, she got six girls and one boy. Wow. Um, so I'm the middle child. Um, and uh, and the only one in music. Only one in music. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like to cook. So yeah, that's. Oh I'm, yeah, have you seen your video? Yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta check her out on TikTok, y'all. She be she be throwing down. I be trying. Thank She'll you. Be throwing down. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So do you have anything big coming up? Um, so I previously mentioned that I was working on my second studio album. So mm-hmm. that's, that's something that I'm really working on. And I feel like this album is going to be so like authentic and like just raw. Mm-hmm. Like, I just feel like everybody like reaches new, new levels in yes. their life. So this is my new level. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, and I'm currently working on a couple other things that I can't speak on until right. they finished. Right. Exactly. We don't want to um, jinx it. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah. Okay. I'm just working on my new album and, um, solidifying all my connects that I have right now and just trying to make a, a bigger impact on the music industry. Okay. That's what I can say for now. Okay. Now, wait, didn't you have an event yesterday? Didn't you do something? I yesterday? did. So, okay. yeah, I did. Shout out to um, the CNE fundraiser. It was a black tie party. Nice. And um, everybody came through to donate to the children in Liberia. Mm. Um, they need hospitals, schools, that sort of thing. So all of the proceeds went to um, the kids in Liberia. Oh, nice. Um, which is crazy because we had a guy that performed. He was a Michael Jackson impersonator. Uh-huh. And he didn't perform Liberian Girl. And I'm like... <laughs> to feed the whole purpose. <laughs> really? You know, but shout out to him. He did a good job. I know you watching and you did a good job. I love you, but <laughs> you know, I just, like I had to put that in there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, it was really dope. It was really nice. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything more coming up before you go back? Um, so just working on a, a couple of music videos mm-hmm. and, um, I got a studio session right after this. Okay. So Always gotta, working, y'all. You know, we got to keep the ball rolling. So, okay. um, yeah, just just I'm um, grateful to be back home and just like you know, accept the love and just the you know the warm coziness. Like you know, like yeah. I can't be in Vegas during right. Christmas. Like, right. ain't no snow. Like you know, like <laughs> it's just I gotta come home. Like I know where home is. You know, right. so. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on for for the most part. Just. Okay. Putting little these every time I come here, I feel like you ask me that, and I'm like, I never have a definite answer for you. And I'm just like, I'm putting little stuff together, like, you know, like, and then you, and then you see it like two weeks later, you like, oh, this is like, <laughs> this is what she was talking, this about. She was talking about. So like, yeah, okay, okay. Who would you say Chanel is your biggest inspiration? Um, I have to say Nicki Minaj because. Um, I've been listening to her since I was in sixth grade. Okay. And like, I don't know, like I'm spiritually connected to a lot of stuff. So it's like, I, 
I look past that. Like, I just, her drive, mm -hmm. her lyricism, like, her work ethic, like, it's just, I just love this woman so much. Like, mm -hmm. I just, like, I don't understand, I don't know what it is, but, mm -hmm. like, she just gave me the motivation and the drive to, like, be better and do better. And I just feel like she went to, she went to LaGuardia okay. in New York. Mm -hmm. People don't know that about her. So she went to actually, she went to theater school for theater, mm. for, for theatrics. So she, I didn't even know that. Exactly. So mm. like, that's why her videos are so like animated. And it's mm. just, she has so more, so much more depth to her mm -hmm. that people don't see. Mm -hmm. And I see that and it just, and I connect with it. And I just, I just love it so much. And it just uh, encourages me to push my pen and Eric Bellinger. Okay. So those two. Okay. Nice. Now, have you met either one of them? So I met Eric Bellinger. Okay. I got a backstage pass. It was nice. $30. Uh huh. You know, I had to grab <laughs> that. I had to grab that. Uh -huh. And um, it's crazy because he actually, like, he he does, like, these challenges on Instagram. You know, you be seeing my little challenges mm -hmm. or whatever. Yes. And I, I participate in every single one. And, like, he shares a lot. And he ended up following me one time. Uh -huh. Girl, I was in school. I was in college one time. Okay. And it was, we were in the middle of uh, live sound. Uh -huh. And um, he followed me. He liked my video and he followed me. Okay. I lost it. <laughs> lost it. I threw my phone across the room. Like they was like, "What's going on?" I was like, "Y'all don't understand. Eric Bellinger just followed me." All the guys was like, <laughs> "I'm like, y'all don't understand. If Beyonce follows y'all, y'all right. would know how it feels. Exactly. Don't play with it." Exactly. Um, but I actually got a chance that I'm blessed to meet um, Eric Bellinger, and he is just like, "Girl, oh my god!" Like. <laughs> Did he know who you were when you met him? He knew. Oh, and thank you. I'm okay. glad you asked that because he was like, um, and I asked him that. I said, "Why did you follow me?" Uh -huh. I asked him. I said, "Why did you follow me?" He said, "Um, you're dope and you're talented." And he said, "And I wanted my followers to know who you was." Aww. And I damn near cried. Wow! Shout out to Eric Bellin. Thank you. I was like, <laughs> and then he put me on his project, um, a couple years ago. Yeah, for his like, he was it was like a uh, like a mixtape. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Shout out to him. I was just like, wow. God is just like, happening. you know? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to work on Nicki Minaj. Yes. Yes. She did like my TikTok, though. Oh, okay. So we get in there. Okay, we get close. I'm going to tag her. I'm going to tag her on this We're taking interview. baby steps, but we get in there. But she did like my TikTok. I was like, oh my God. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to work on her. Yeah. She's next. <laughs> She's next. All right, so you already named two. So my next question is give me your top five. You already named two artists. That you would love to work with? Um, Sade and her mm. band. I have to work with Sade and, and her. I, I can't say just, I can't just say Sade. Yes. I have to say Sade and the band. Okay. Because that's the name of the band. Mm -hmm. um, Sade, I want to work with Missy Elliott. Mm. And then Timbaland. Timbaland yes. follows me on TikTok. Okay. Which is crazy. Okay. So like if I could get them together, it'd be lit. Ooh, that'd be lit. I'm going to tag them both. Okay. With the sound. Timbaland, like his it's crazy. Like, where are you okay. finding these sounds from? Like, what are you doing? It's lit. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Okay, now let's jump to your acting side. Now, I know that you're an actress. <laughs> Give me your top five, top five. Um, actors okay. that you would love to work with. Dead um, or alive. Let's add that in there. Um. So... My top three for now, uh -huh. I'll give you five, but my top three will have to be Jason Statham, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yeah. And then um, Liam Nelson. Liam, Liam Neeson. Nelson. Or okay. Neeson. Is it Nelson or Neeson? It's Liam Neeson, I think. Liam Neeson. N. If you know, you know. <laughs> when I <laughs> see those three gentlemen on, on movies, they're standing on business, and I want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I also want to work with Tyler Perry because I feel yeah. like his, um, his, his movies – have a, like a lot of meaning behind it. It's like, yep. you know, it's not just like a regular movie. It's like no. something you can learn from it. Oh, yeah. And then the last would be um, Angelina Jolie. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Because all her movies are like action. I like action yeah. movies. And she yeah. just like, she just so fearless. She like, bad. I just be like, girl. She bad. Yes, it's she all. is. It's all. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Give your top three advice. That you would give to a youth out there saying, Oh, I want to be like Chanel. Oh, you want to be like me, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I love this question too. Number one, number one, rule number one. Can I cuss? Mm -hmm. Fuck what they think. Okay. Number one, 
You have people out there that are less qualified than you wake up in the morning and they continuously do what they want to do and they do what they love just mm -hmm. because it's what they love. Fuck what they think. They're going to judge you whether you got a hundred million or a penny. Why yes. not meet them in the middle and do what you love? Yep. That's rule number one. Number two, believe in yourself. Yes. It, it's okay if other people believe in you. You can have like 50,000 followers, 100 million, like whatever. Like, But that none of that matters if you don't believe in yourself. Nope. It sucks when people see your potential, but you don't see your own potential. It sucks. So believe in yourself. You can do it. The industry, none of the, whatever industry that you're in, it's not oversaturated. Because obviously God puts you in this position because there's more than enough for you to be able to thrive and prosper. Do you think McDonald's was worried about Burger King when they when they right. opened up shop? No, we have a Big Mac. You don't have a Big Mac. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little passionate. I'm so sorry. But like for real, because like I I, I love this question because like I, I I try to express it with all my friends like and that's why they call me sometimes because they know like she's not gonna give it to me straight and plain mm -hmm. like. Be who you are. Love who you are. Believe in yourself. Like, you can do this shit. Like, yeah. nobody physically has a gun to your head saying you can't do it. Like, right. do it. Do it. do it. If you like it, do it. Thanks. And then the third thing to be is be confident in yourself. When you when you know that you, where you want to go, you know that you got that, walk in it. Walk in it. It's been so many times, y'all, I can't explain to y'all how many opportunities I've been in simply because I've walked into it. Mm-hmm. Like I went you to a I went to a function in Atlanta, and uh, I went to a went to the bathroom just to check on my hair and my makeup. And there were three girls in there. They was like, "Oh, we love your makeup. We love your hair. Where are you from?" I'm like Chicago. They're like, "Oh my god, we love Chicago." <laughs> they got me in VIP. Okay. And I never saw them again. Never saw them. As soon as I got in VIP, I never they like like just they just. It's like their mission was to get me where I needed to be, and mm -hmm. then it just like disappeared Banner. wow you know what i'm saying and i walked in and i you know what i'm saying i met the studio engineer i met the manager i met the owner i got a chance to meet k kemp okay um and bobby critical okay french montana it was so many people in that room iman shumper like i met so many wow. people yes and they literally got me in that room mm -hmm. and you know so it's just walking in that confidence yes. act like you're supposed to be here when you wherever yes. you go I don't care if you're going to go get a burger. Walk like you're going there to go get that burger. <laughs> and so they're going to give it to you. I'm, right. I'm telling you. So, like, those are my top three tips. And I just feel those like good. use it and hone in and, like, stop caring. Like, just, just stop caring. Just do it. Just, just, do, it. just, just do, do it. Just do it. Nike, just do it. Just do it. Don't care what nobody thinks. Just do it. Fuck them. Okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Those are nice. Those Thank are you. <laughs> yes. Well, it is such a pleasure to have you back. Thank I'm proud you. of you. Thank you. Keep going. I know, right? I was like, oh, my girl, what she, what Miss Foss is talking about? Let me go <laughs> ahead and book now. Let me go <laughs> ahead and let the people like, know. when you coming back to Chicago? Okay, because yeah. I, yeah, I know the last time we talked, I was like, we were trying to like get it together. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, ah. We had the dates mixed up. I know, but we got it and yeah. we're here now. So I told you. Yeah. Like, you just let me know. Let me know when you coming back. We'll book you. And I'm here. Yes. So, yeah. Well, I am so glad. I'm so Thank happy you. for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes. You definitely, definitely got to come back. You know, you're oh, always you know welcome. Back. Keep me updated. Let us know what events you got going on. If you have something here so that we can come out and celebrate and support. Um, got to so, show, show the East Coast. No, West Coast. The West you know, Coast. You know, what Chicago's all about. I don't have any upcoming events at the moment. Um, Yet. But... Yet. Yet, but when I do, I'll let you know. Yes. I'm gonna blast it everywhere. Next definitely, <laughs> so. definitely. I can't wait yeah. to hear the new album. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even speak on it, but just know it's crazy. Like I already know. I never cared before, but now it's like. <laughs> I just okay. Just and like, what's crazy is my coworkers. They were like, "Oh, you do music? Oh my god, Cindy!" And I'm like. <laughs> y'all sure y'all want the smoke they're like send it we don't care is it pg-13 and then literally my boss recited one of my lyrics and i died what he was like you said <laughs> and i'm like uh-oh 
I did say, am I fired? I did say. <laughs> he was like, no, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. I love it. And I'm like, oh. see? <sighs> but um, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. I'm grateful. That's good. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Well, definitely come on back. Hang out with me. Keep us updated. It's sure. a pleasure to have you back. Thank you for having me. She already has a t-shirt, y'all, which she forgot to bring with her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't go anywhere. We got another interview coming right up.